It's One Piece time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the One Piece Van Presto Creator, X Creator Nami version 2. They already did one where she kind of just uh, in a swimsuit. I didn't get that one. I got this one because I like the design. It's kind of like a royal gown going on for Nami. It, it's nice, it's classy, and it fits well with uh, the Boa Hancock figure from the same series. I got for my birthday last year from, from Zach, and uh, yeah, I wanted to have this one, so let's have a look. Okay, first, before you get at me and say, oh, it's not connected correctly, I tried it, but it doesn't seem to go in all the way. You see kind of the line over there, and there's a little bit of a gap in the front, and her hands. I guess they're supposed to be on the ground, but I really tried wriggling it around, and I can't really get it in there. I'm, I'm not gonna start cutting anything off right now, that, that's just really the assembly, you have the top piece and the lower piece. And you combine these two, now let's have a look at the size, she's sitting at about, let's start with the inches this time around, she goes four and a half inches to the top of her crown, which means we're gonna stand at about ten, ten and a half inches, ten and a half centimeters to the top of her crown, about that size, obviously it's a, it's a lot smaller because she's sitting, but I like the pose, I like the dress, I uh, love the, the detail in the face, you got the eyes, which are, those are fairly simple, but uh, look at the lips, look at the fine paint job on the lips, those very small lips, and uh, then we got the ornament on her head, there's a lot of soft plastic also, so it will not break off, that's a plus for me, and it still looks nice, uh, sometimes when you have the soft plastic, it looks kind of weird, but the paint job on it is nice, and you kind of have the uh, the ribbon, not really ribbon going on on her head. But uh, moving down to her hair, I love how this is molded. There's like so many strains that go down, honestly like a lot more than I'm used to it. So that's very nicely done, there's also shading in it. A little bit too dark if you ask me, but regardless it's shading, and I like shading so I'm not being too uh, too harsh on it. Obviously you got the boobs. This is a more classy version, but we still got the boobs out. I mean, all, overall it's kind of like a kimono. It's kind of like a, like a very nice Japanese dress. Detail in the fingernails. I just really, really want to have a look at that. Uh, very nicely done. There's some black spots over here. I don't really know what's that all about. But uh, for, considering the size, it's pretty nice that they painted the uh, fingernails and she even has the lock part in there. That's not super nicely painted, but hey, it's still in there and it's still painted. So I'm not complaining once again about these little things. Also, this is a little bit more of a budget figure. Got more gold in the figure in her, kind of like the thing that goes around the belt. I call it a belt. And uh, she also has a butt. Very nicely molded in there. Cannot forget about the butt. And let me zoom out to give you a nice overlook of all the wrinkles also in the dress. Uh, how you can see how her leg kind of bends over here and the other one goes out to the side. And uh, well, it goes like here and there. Okay, I was kind of like distracted by this way, but uh, no, those are the legs. And uh, tons of wrinkles in it. And the legs are actually also under the figure, kind of hidden in here. We don't have them, them juicy details. I think. Well, yes. Hold on. Let me see if I can get in there. It's Ponsu time! I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Ponsu. It's kind of pink, and uh, it's there, so I do not disappoint with the Ponsu time. I cannot let you guys down, but I can't really get in there. I can't get a good look, so I apologize for that. But yeah, you have Ponsu, so rejoice. Also important to note is that the entire dress is soft plastic this entire thing also the arms I would say if you heat it up you could probably move it around a little bit but I wouldn't go too crazy speaking of crazy the red line on her dress yeah I mean we got some paint bleeding and some slips there but uh, just the entire line there is paint bleeding going on unfortunately not a slip and uh, you also got it on the side over here uh, basically everywhere where the red and the white meet. What about around the boobs? Yeah, that's also... Ah, that looks rough, unfortunately. So, yeah... Not really the greatest when it comes to that, unfortunate. 
We also have her tattoo on her shoulder, but uh, for the rest of it, I mean, there's not really much more to talk about this figure. I, I gotta have side by side by these two gals, by these two lovely gals. So this is like the uh, the dress collection. Why are they call it? Why are they not calling it the dress collection? We got Boy Hancock, which once again I got from Zach last year for my birthday. Shout outs to him. I love this figure, and uh, it really motivated me to get another one so yeah that's gonna do it that's gonna bring me to the final thoughts what do i think about this figure now once again this is a budget type figure this figure originally only costs around um 30 bucks i got her for 15 but you can you can find her around 20 30 if you can still find her but anyway so that being said i love the design i love the pose and everything uh it, it's a little bit different with, with the outfit and with, there's like so many Nami figures it's really hard to come up with something something new something fresh and that's what this is to me now unfortunately the paint job really the red and the white clashing ah it sucks man it really sucks okay with like these mass produced figures you don't you never really know like I'm saying there's some yours might be better yours might be worse I'm kind of wondering if anybody has the pink one if you kind of kind of let me know um, if that one's better But still Still I still like this figure. I still like this figure and once again like I'm saying I paid 50 bucks for this 15 bucks for this and uh, as that as that being said, I I like it I'm you know This is obviously a problem But when I'm having her on the shelf like that, I will not even notice that so that's something to keep in mind But for me, it's still worth it at the low price it's all right. So that's gonna do it, guys. Again, recommend it if you can find it, like 20 bucks, uh, 20, 30. I wouldn't pay more at all, but uh, that might be worth your time. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, as usual, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever Nami wants.